Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? Gabriel, just another fan TV, man. Back at another video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on all the videos, man. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, let's get into it, all right? So, um, obviously, there's famous stuff going on. You know, uh, Odell Beckham tweeting, you know, uh, he's worth more than $4 million. You know, people speculating, oh, is it the Ravens that offered him $4 million? You know, things like that, on and on, right? Uh, that's also Lamar Jackson, right? Uh, on Instagram, it's, like it's always a new story with Lamar Jackson, particularly on Instagram, right? But uh, let's talk about the NFLPA, first the owners, with Lamar Jackson in the middle, okay? Um, I saw the the clip from Ravens Vault, right? That's been kind of going around or whatever that uh, it seems like that Lamar Jackson and the Ravens make progress, that maybe he takes the deal back to the NFLPA and the NFLPA shoots it down. The next time Lamar Jackson and Eric DeCosta talk, it's like no progress has been made. So I saw that report come out. All right. So let's say this, right? Uh, Lamar Jackson's a grown man. He's a smart man. He's a guy who knows what he wants. Okay, so I don't believe that you know he's following exactly what the NFLPA says to one hundred percent. Okay, I don't believe that. Um, is he getting help with him, advising him? Sure. Uh, yeah, that's obvious at this point. Okay, um, but to say that he's just a straight up pawn in their scheme, I don't fully believe that. Now, I will say he is caught in the middle of a negotiation that is bigger than himself. All right. This is about the owners. This is about NFOPA. This is about unions. Okay, I remember when I when I was uh when I was young a couple years ago, right? I I worked at a um, a retail store. Okay, so you know you go you go to retail stores. You know you do your orientation. How you do this in the store, right? And one of the views that they showed me for orientation was why well, I didn't need to be a member of a union. And this is just a retail store. You know what I'm saying? It's a big time retail store. Don't get me wrong, but. It's just a retail store. And they're telling me why I don't need to be a member of a union. You is not really looking out for you. This is all a part of orientation, right? Nothing to do with the store in this part of the video, but just why you don't need to be in a union, all right? So, and that's what NFL owners are. They're members, they're owners of a big time organization, a big time franchise. That's what they are, okay? 32 franchises, right? Um, so, of course, they're against guys who are trying to be union leaders, and that's what the NFLPA is. You know, it's a it's a constant battle between them and the owners, flat out. And Lamar Jackson's in the middle of it, all right? Now, if if that is true, right, about the fact that Lamar Jackson and the Ravens made progress, he takes the, the deals back to the NFLPA, or whoever he takes it back to, and they shoot it down the next time Lamar Jackson and the Ravens talk, it's like nothing happened. Um, that is unfortunate, okay? That is not a great look for the NFOPA. It's, it's, it's not, you know. Um, are you trying to get him the best deal he can get? Or are you trying to get him the only deal that you want him to get, right? Because um, that could be two different agendas right there. It really, really could be. Now, I'm not going to paint the NFOPA as the bad guy because they're trying to hold the owners accountable for giving all contracts they don't have any intentions of paying. Which, to me, does not make them a bad guy. Doesn't make them a good guy either now. I'm not saying, like I said, they're not 100% of fault. In any of this kind of situation but let's say i give you a five-year deal 200 plus million dollars i guarantee the first three years the other two it's, it's funny money there's really nothing out there you could get it probably won't but you could right so how many got how many of you guys will sign up for a contract for a new job they say hey look man you know we, we like you want to bring you on we got a three-year contract here but we're really only going to guarantee your salary for the first year after that we may just lay you off now, if you need a job, okay, of course, you might do it, all right? But that doesn't give you any type of sense of security. That doesn't make you feel good. So if you want to sign that contract and say, hey, look, man, give me two years, guarantee me on a job, we can meet in the middle, we can do it like that. All right, cool, right? That's pretty much the kind of situation where we're at right now, all right? Lamar Jackson doesn't want any if ands, or buts in this contract. He doesn't want anything that says, hey, look, man, if you get this, if this happens, then you might not get the money. Now... Um, the latest deal that came out that we already talked about is pretty much a three-year, $175 million contract, right? Um, he gets the, you know, the injury guarantee, so if he's cut next year, he doesn't get the money, but the Ravens have to uh, assume a $70 million dead cap number, which they aren't going to do. But it's a possibility for whatever reason, any myriad of circumstances, that they, it could happen, right? So he turns that deal down. Um, if the NFLPA... It's advising him anything in his ear um, that's purposely stalling the negotiations without anything being held to move forward, then that's not good business, all right? 
That's not good business. It's, it's just not. You know, you want Lamar Jackson to get his money. You don't want Lamar Jackson to be a martyr and not get paid. Now, eventually somebody will pay Lamar Jackson. Um, at this point, it seems like it's going to be the Baltimore Ravens and nobody else uh, just because um, the offers aren't coming in, right? And we got to be honest about that. The offers are just not coming in. Um, now, the only team that's been rumored to even have an interest right now is the Indianapolis Colts. And that's just between reporters saying that, hey, it makes sense for the Colts to get involved. Not like anything strong and conclusive that they've drawn up an offer sheet or anything like that. So this negotiation process that's been between the Ravens, Lamar Jackson, Steve Bashad, the Art Costa, it stayed that way because nobody else has jumped in the middle of it. Um, now, I will say this, right? As far as the... Because really, this is a CBA negotiation that's happening with Lamar Jackson um, in the middle, in live time, in live action, okay? If you want to tell me that you believe the NFLPA should have handled this back in the last CBA, which I believe was 2020, I think, you're correct. They should have handled it back then, right? But we also got to think about why it wasn't handled. Because the owners are objectively against it. It takes, like, Eric DeCosta's favorite line in contract negotiations that he's been saying pretty much every time he's come to the podium. It takes two to tango. If you look at it, every pre <laughs> every press conference that Eric, Eric DeCosta has said uh, since Ray started this Lamar Jackson negotiation, he said it takes two to tango. He keeps saying that, right? Um, that's an obvious... Um, it's obvious play saying that, you know, hey, look, one side got to talk, other side got to respond. We got to compromise. We got to meet in the middle. All right. Um, now, for the last CBA, the owners, their compromise was, you know, practices and days off and things like that, which is fine. It's just cool. Right. But ultimately, you pay this game, you pay this game, you put your body on the line because you want to get paid for it. OK. Um, if I give you this deal that says this amount of money, I want X amount of dollars on it. Right. That's what I want. So. In my opinion, this is not about who's right, who's wrong. This is about two sides clashing, trying to get their point across, okay? Um, if this was a regular negotiation, yeah, I believe there'll be plenty of teams after Lamar Jackson. And hey, look, they still may be, right? Because with free agency slowing down, um, the teams have, the first week free agency is over, so teams can now kind of sit back, relax, and say, all right, look, if we put a match, if we put, if we put an offer sheet out there for Lamar Jackson, we don't have to worry about missing out on the big time free agents because we got to wait five days for the Ravens to match. That very well could be a thought process that we can see the we can see the offer start rolling in next week, right? It could very well happen. But that's right now, that's not what's happening, all right? The owners are kind of sitting back, letting everything play out, and we'll see where we go from there, okay? Now, um, sorry. So in, in the new CBA, right, if the owners were more forward with guaranteed deals, this actually might help them in the long run. Because now you're going to actually think about the contract that you're providing for these players, okay? You're not just going to pay them any kind of money and then say, hey, look, well, we made a mistake. We're actually going to cut that off. Now you're actually going to have to use the thought process and think and say, hey, look, do I think this player in three years will be worth amount? Will be worth this amount of money, right? Do I think this player in three years can hold up and get this amount of money in the back end, right? Now, listen, it's business. It's sports. Nothing is ever guaranteed. But it's sad that the NFL – the most, probably the most violent sport, probably right up there with hockey, you know what I mean, um, doesn't have these deals where these players can get their money in full. And that's just the honest truth. It's, it's, it's sad. All right. Um, but as far as the NFL PA versus the NFL owners, Lamar Jackson is in the middle of it. All right. Um, there's no other way to put it. Um, and I'm not saying that like Lamar Jackson is like a victim or he's been taken advantage of because like I said before in the beginning of the video, he knows full well what's going on. Um, I believe Lamar Jackson to be smart. These people who question his intelligence about, oh, does he understand what's going on in the contracts? Okay. Even if he didn't, he had a team of legal advisors that could tell him what's going on. Even if, if you believe he doesn't understand. But I believe he understands completely what's happening. So he's not a pawn. He's not somebody's uh flunky. He's not somebody's idiot that they're that they're stringing along. He's a he's a grown man who say, Hey, look, um, yeah, okay, you guys want me to take the stand for this deal? Let's do it. I'll 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 try it. I'll I'll push forward in that progress, okay? Um and that's what we are right now at <laughs> at exactly what we are. So uh yesterday with Lamar Jackson, he came out, um he was at a concert or something, and somebody was talking to him, asked him if he come back to the Ravens, he said for show, right? And uh, you know, he had like his um Ravens chain on, it's the Ravens shield with like the you know the Broward County and all that stuff on it. Um it sounded like he said, yeah, it's happening, right? Then he goes on the IG and said, oh, no, I couldn't hear. It, it was loud in there. I couldn't hear a word that was going on. 
And then yesterday, we get that he's on his YouTube channel. He's going to be dropping an exclusive interview, right? Maybe he'll cover some of this stuff. Maybe he won't. Um, and the clip that I saw that he put on IG, uh, he talks about his transition to the NFL, uh, first coming in with the West Coast offense on the Marty Morning Wig, and how it wasn't that different from what he ran in Louisville, which is what I've said on here before, is the fact that you don't have to create a magical new office for Lamar Jackson. In, in, in college, he ran a pro-style system. Uh, anyway, he said his biggest transition was the fact that he got, had to go from learning um, his signals. In, in college, it was all signals, no, really, no huddles, really. And to in the NFL, huddling up, spitting all these long verbiage for plays, you know, spotter X, 2 wide banana, you know, how the classic John Gruden calls and all stuff, things like that, right? Um, so maybe, maybe in this interview, he'll touch on stuff that's going on with the contract negotiation. I don't expect to hear about any numbers or anything like that. Um, like I said, him and Eric Costa had that deal that he wouldn't discuss it. Um, I mean, I guess he kind of discussed it a little bit on Twitter, but it was from, it was the old numbers back from September, so it's not really anything new when he discussed it on Twitter. So maybe he'll talk about it, maybe he won't. But Lamar Jackson is dropping a, an exclusive interview on his YouTube channel. You guys can check it out. Uh, I don't know exactly what time is coming out today, but we shall see. But uh, this process is a long, drawn-out process because – um, it's two sides that want something that's two totally different things, all right? The NFLPA is trying to do right by the players. They have an agenda. Of course they do. And it, and it's not about, it's really not about, about doing right for Lamar Jackson just by himself. It's about the NFL players as a whole. So these contract negotiations may be hurting Lamar Jackson, but they're trying to do it for the greater good of NFL players as a whole. That's, that's, that's simply what it is, all right? And you could say how their tactics are going about it is wrong. Uh, and, you know, I won't disagree with you on that. Uh, but at the end of the day, NFL owners, if you're going to sign these contracts, sign this number on a dollar line, intend to pay what you owe. And that's it, man. That's all I got to say about it. But uh, I'm going to get out of here, man. Um, this week, um, I'm going to be in Florida. Um, you know, I'm going to see Lamar Jackson. <laughs> I'm going to Orlando. Um, some family time, things like that. So uh, I'll probably still try to do some videos while I'm down there. But... That, if nothing comes out, that's fine. All right, cool, man. Y'all have a great day, a wonderful weekend. I'm going to get out of here, man. It's Gabriel, just with Fan TV. Well.